Press Start Video Game Radio, rocking some music from Professor Layton. And Reggie's body may be ready for performing at Nintendo's E3 conference and being the president of Nintendo of America, his mind isn't ready for this generation's expectations of sorts. It is a rather mean generation. You can just look at some of the comments on Reddit. He spoke to Kotaku about the never-satisfied gamer and how the gaming community says something like, Where's Pikmin? And when it showed to them, they say, cool, but what's next? And we've all had those moments where a company announced, hey, we have XYZ, and then you go, but what about this game? Or a new game gets announced, and all you want are more details on it. Or crazy features, or a ton of content, or a group of characters you can actually care about. Final Fantasy XIII, I am looking at you. We build games and franchises up in our minds, and that can lead to disappointment, kind of like when you build people up in your mind. Because games are more than just games, they are something you devote a lot of time to, you care about. And Reggie understands that. To him, it's a challenge, thankfully. He does make a solid point about gamers' appetites. Especially in this day where you can pretty much go online and get about anything you want within a couple days. Probably even Russian mail-order brides and a really cute French poodle. Why not? He mentioned how gamers don't immediately love a game, but that doesn't mean the world won't enjoy it. He points out Nintendogs and Wii Fit as examples of where the gaming community wasn't utterly excited, but then the game sold millions. Kind of like Nickelback's almost universally hated. Given we Fit and Nintendogs don't have a strong cult fandom, but it sells, and Nintendo is a business. And for them, it's hard not to get frustrated or upset when a group of people keeps asking for more. But that's what gamers do. That's what people do sometimes. And there's so many gamers out there who just keep watching, keep watching. I'm one of them. I stalk news sites, I stalk gaming sites, I stalk the actual company's sites. Just to see, hey, what you doing? What you doing? So it's one of those, if you really love a game, stand out there and say it. Don't just stand out there because, <sighs> really, Mass Effect 3's ending was that? And the new things like that? Oof. It's good to give some praise for these huge developers, because they do a lot. You don't have five press conferences with a bunch of content for no good reason. So what do you think about this generation's gamers? Are we too demanding? Do we keep our eyes on something too much? Are we insatiable? Are you insatiable? Tell us why or why not below or on Press Start's Facebook page. Up next, we have another game developer who's talking about the future of gaming prices, and he has an interesting idea of what it's going to be like. I'll tell you more on Press Start Video Game Radio. Radio. 